Well, I think the, th the background theme to the webcast will be, my particular webcast will be that the mind is the athlete, the body is simply the means, and that our attitudes, in the end, drive our performance. So I will be identifying what are the key attitude shapers that drive the performance of the very best, the great coaches and the great players but in a way that is quite straightforward for anybody who's attempting performance. All sorts of people because uh, we're all engaged in performance, some at low level, some at medium level, some at high level, and we're all trying to find the secrets of performance. Um, my good fortune is I work with high performance players and coaches, um, and so I have learned lessons that I think are worth sharing with lots of people. So I really think people will find anybody involved in sport, maybe even business, that is engaged in the process of performance, I think would get something from this session. I don't think that you can reach the top in any profession without a solid support base of people who advise and guide you at certain stages. I think that starts with the family and the best support group you can get is a good family. Uh, as well as that, a good partner and, and my wife has been my thinking partner for many, many years. I've been very fortunate and I think it's advice I would pass on that I've been able to get close to people who are very good at what they do. So my advice to people is to get close to people who are excellent at what they do, observe them and draw lessons for them, as well as inspiration. I'm always mentoring and um, I have a range of uh, people in both sport and business and at all levels uh, who I am lending support to. I, I find the mentoring process very absorbing so that using my experience and background to help a young coach deal with issues um, that perhaps are new to them but old to me I find totally stimulating and totally absorbing. I think a good mentor has to have uh, experience and knowledge that can be applied across a range of uh, situations. Apart from expertise though, I think it's all about relationships. I think you've got to develop the confidence and trust in people to come to you and confidentially share their fears and anxieties and then be in a position to help them conquer those and go on from strength to strength.